Somebody wanted to show off this new ship build that I just did. This is the uh, F-15 Star Eagle. Uh, as you can see, this thing is 100% horsepower and gunpowder. Um, I'm actually maxed out on engines and buttons. It said that I can even add any more. Uh, so I painted the whole thing in black. The, the gold actually just kind of happened. And it was initially just supposed to be solid black. Um, it's running uh, four, four sets of these massive 2010 style engines. And post rear post landing gear, uh, shield, cargo bay, everything's maxed out. This is only an A-class ship, um, and it just absolutely annihilates absolutely everything I've come in contact with. So, we'll switch over here to the camera. Now, this actually started its life as a, uh, a pickup class and that's how I ended up with these two humongous 400 gallon uh, 400 kilogram helium three tanks so this was initially a freighter and now it is absolutely menacing and so much fun to fly so we're gonna do that in just a second All right, so in here we've got the uh, Nova Nova Galactic Armory. Uh, like this one, word, probably the best. Uh, crew members, I picked up Gideon. Got the Hope Tech Hope Tech Captain's Quarters in here. I figured these is the this is the most homey of all the Captain's Quarters, so this is the one that I wanted. And it's kind of nice because it actually has a nav console in here, as well as having a bed, a desk, and the captain's most important thing, which is the espresso maker. Get up here to my cockpit. So positioning everything was the most important thing to me because I wanted to make sure that I had my hatch directly uh, behind my cockpit so it's easy to get back in. And then I've never had a window on any of my ships so I actually put this one in just to be able to look out of my ship from someplace other than this cockpit. So this is actually the Nova Galactic uh, cockpit, the smaller one, and it's able to be mounted directly um, flat on top of a module. It does not have to have um, an overhang space, which is the number one reason I picked it. I mean, yeah, it has less cargo space, but it makes up for it with its great point of view, and when you see this point of view from the castle point of view, straight down the hood like a freaking muscle car. Absolutely gorgeous. See if we can find somebody to annihilate here. I don't know whose ship that is, but we're about to find out. There we go. They're considerably 
higher level than me, but hopefully they'll still be easy, right? Just to confirm, that ship was a level 14, I'm a level 8, and I just absolutely decimated it. So, uh, we'll go back to the station here and I'll show you exactly what I've got parts in this thing. thing we'll get okay all right so just going over my modules here lasers we got the dragon pulse um, these are the same lasers that are on the frontier when you get it uh, missile launchers currently are that lateral 270 a's uh, machine guns are the baller 104l auto cannons I've got four White Dwarf 2010s, uh, Deflector Shield Generator SG-20, R-2000 Grab Drive, 124mm Tortle Reactor, then let's actually get in here into the modules. So, like I said, we got the Nova Galactic Armory, we got the Hotep Captain's Quarters, Magellan C1X cockpit as a 100 DP slim docker. Nova Galactic companion way, two of those. Porthole aft, Demio spine D aft, Hope 5 landing gear. Uh, underbelly, it's got a 210 style cargo hold. But I actually really like the cargo hold, the way it adjusts the profile of the ship. So up front, like I said, is our 400 uh, you know, kilogram, seven, 700 ton HE3 tanks. There's two of them. Uh, the Hope 55 landing gear, the only way I found to get this landing gear on a ship early on in the game is either to steal a pickup or buy a pickup, or um, this also comes on the, I believe it's the Crimson Fleet Ghost. Uh, the front end is the Nova cowling, same as the cowling that's actually on the uh, on the frontier when you first get it. And my bay is actually the Hope 4 landing bay. And the whole reason I picked it is because the Hope 4 landing bay is one of the few that has a side point right up here in front. So that's how I'm able to get six guns right at the front of the ship. Um, and you can actually, I it impeded my line of sight having a gun here but I actually have room for another one here, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to add a 7th uh, weapon to the ship, but as soon as I'm able to get to Class B reactors, the plan is to either add another weapon up here or upgrade all of these to stronger weapons, because uh, this is my ship for absolutely destroying everything I come in contact with. Um, earlier, before I had actually upgraded the lasers, I took this ship on a mission and I took out four Crimson Fleet ships and didn't even break my hull. 